Welcome back to Sale. Two matches remaining. And this one is going to be absolutely fascinating. It is the men's elite final. It is Wigan Touch Warriors against London Scorpions. They've met twice this weekend already. Wigan came out on top by two scores on the first occasion. They drew six all the second time round. But Scorpions looked imperious when they took on Hot Custard this morning. Joining me for this one, Sue Allen Goody, a plate champion. Superb performance. Welcome. Great to have you here. Great to be here. If you didn't watch earlier, then Cambridge won the plate final 8-4. 8-4 against a spirited BBR side. But that's uh, just desserts as we get underway here for um, for what's been a really challenging weekend, a tough weekend, but must be nice to leave with some silverware. Oh, absolutely. We had hoped to make top four, but um, but taking away the plate is, um, is going to be great as well. Proper consolation. So Wigan in those white jerseys attacking the line away to your right first up. We've got Jordan Melling just dropping off. And some of those... Oh, do you know what, Sue Ellen? You've just got here, and now you're leaving. Oh, that's been picked off. There could be a race for the line here, but a touch has been made. And no sooner have you joined us in the commentary position, then you're being dragged off for a team photo. But of course, bye bye. Where are you going? Are you staying? I better go. All I can right, see well, the team behind the match there, looking for their, their photo opportunity. Well, so get over I there. Shall then. Be go. Back. You've won silverware. But lo and behold. We've got fans' favourite, Mel. Did you plan that, Mel? Be honest. Oh, here go Wigan, though. Oh. We'll come to that. There is a score. Celesi Tuiono opens it up. It's advantage Wigan and Mel just in time. Just whenever I get my lips around the microphone, then all of a sudden Wigan score. Look at them go. We can see Josh Ingram passing from half there. Long ball out to the wing. Great score. Jordan Melling. Left arm like a traction engine. And Scorpions not even touched the ball yet. And they find themselves a score behind. I was talking to Wigan before the game. I got all the hot goss from Stephen Melling, the father of um, Jordan and Jake. Yeah! Scorps. One piece. Goodness me. Scorps have arrived too. What he didn't tell me was their poor defensive record after they've um, scored a touchdown, which is evident in this one. It's a lovely finish though, Eccles dumping the ball down there from 13, that step off the right foot and the ball as well. Spatial awareness to duck that left shoulder in to get around the touch. Here we go, one apiece. I know, I saw the Wigan boys warming up and they had a really, really strong warm up. Um, Jordan Melling get them into line when there were a few drops balls. Well, they've got a good side and I think they travel south so often to put on a good, good show here in Manchester, so close to home. This might have been one of the NTS rounds that they really targeted at the beginning of the season. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, having already beaten Scorps this weekend. Oh, the delay in the pass! He sent him for breakfast and it's Wigan 2, Scorps 1. Look at this, sends him on a mission to somewhere. Turns out to be a quest for nowhere. Delays it, delays it, delays it. See you later. Oh. I haven't seen a dummy like that since Julia Unsworth game two today. <laughs> Almost as good as hers. <laughs> so let's have a little chat about Galaxy's weekend. Yeah, uh, the men are um, just finished, I think. So they were a bit under-resourced this weekend. So it was a tough weekend for them. Um, Women's, as you saw, it was a tough game against Scorps on field one. And as you can see there, men are trying to set them up for the um, double win this weekend. And they're doing a good job of it with that, Tell too. All. And I'm just going to pass back over to Sue Ellen. I, I can pass a microphone better than I can pass a touch rugby ball. So, <laughs> lucky, well, lucky for all of you. <laughs> pleasure, as always. Go and enjoy the sunshine. And go and enjoy this fantastic final pitch side. You know what? You've disappeared for a photo and you've missed some unbelievable touchdowns. It's two apiece, four minutes in. I've missed four tries already. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You said, well, Such a quick game. Was it nil-nil when you left? I think one touchdown just been scored. Crumbs. Jordan Melling waiting there. Really is organising general telling the boys where he wants them. Wigan went one up. Scorps came straight back. We can go 2-1 up. Scorps come straight back. 
Could be touchdown for touchdown. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, oh that is that a nice pass. Goal. Oh, it's 3 2. It is 3 2. Acres of space on the left this time. Make it look too easy, don't they? I tell you what, we are spoiled in the studio. We've got a great camera angle. Let's take a look at this pass here from Melling. The winger has to come in to cover the link. Just gets it away in time. It's good hands. If only we had a pass like that. Jordan Hankey scoring. Maybe that's something you work on in the off-season. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> That's a huge asset, isn't it? Being able to have a delivery like that. From oh, the God, yeah. Nice, strong, flat pass. Just changes the game. I mean, look at that. Speaking That's of crazy. which. Score straight back in. And it's 3-3. Well, 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 well. It does feel like no one likes to defend. I think this might have been awarded a forward pass, you know. Let's take another look at this. Oh, hello. Comes in, drills it off the right hand. It was taken close to the line. And we rejoin play with Warriors on the ball. So that is, well, dare I say, an opportunity missed for Scorpions because it's 3-2 and Wigan back into their half. Five and a half minutes gone. Breathless stuff. <laughs> oh, look at that. What a great hole. And again, an awesome pass. Wigan 4-2. They hit the hole so nicely. They just know where each other's going to be all the time. It's so lovely to watch. Look at that, again. cut out pass, straight in, hits the hole beautifully. And they've still got a winger on the outside there. Well, you can't really defend it because the Wigan, sorry, the winger, should I say, he's keeping his width. If he comes inside this space on the outside, and you know the middles have got the quality to pass it there. Yeah, it's a bit of a gamble, but if you play policy, that winger should come in. If that link's come in, winger comes in, and then it's a harder pass because it's longer and it's under pressure. That is. But, as you say, they can make it, so... That's the voice of Sue Ellen Goody joining us as a plate champion. Team photo commitment's done. <laughs> and she'll be talking us through the remainder of this men's final. And Scorps, have, have they... Oh, I thought they crept that ball down then. I thought they were strolling no, back to the middle quite. of the park. I think they thought they had, but the touch is made. Let's have a look. They got who they want. Oh, flip out the back door. If that sticks, then it's a different story. But that fumble just gives Wigan enough time to recover in defence. So That's it. Now they're all set. You can look at their shape. Scorps trying to go on the outside, trying to move them, create some holes. Can't do it. Oh, it was fumbled on the line. I think if that sticks first time, then we get a dive and a decision for the referee to make. But now Wigan can come away with it. 4-2 to the good, need a good drive here out of their half. Oh, that's better yards. Over halfway, four. it's four, yeah. Fifth coming. See if they can get who they want. Oh, wonderful feet, still alive. Nice. I think the referee spotted a touch there. Touch and pass. Referees need three pairs of eyes, don't they? Oh, so lucky there's three going of them, on. yeah. yeah. No, we've been really lucky this weekend to have triple refs, all qualified, doing a great job, game after game, in the heat. How have you found these conditions to play in? Um, well, I'm an Aussie, so this is lovely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hate it when it's wet. Usually Manchester doesn't give us favourable weather, so um, Anything is a this bit, time around it's been great. It's a bit chilly, surprised you've not got a cardigan on. <laughs> Here comes Scorps again, oh, they've dotted that one down. And that is good. Scooper going through. Putting the ball on the outside. And that's done at pace as well. The wing has done well to time their run to perfection. Looks like there's Justin on the wing. They're out nice and wide. Wing is nowhere to be seen. Down it goes. It's a one point ball game once again. Scorps three, Wigan four. All right, Wigan need to go hard now and score back. Or Scorps need to keep him out. Hard 60 seconds for them. There's no such thing as a not hard 60 seconds in touch, <laughs> is there? He's pretty high intensity. Well, just seeing what the defence do. See, yeah, see who presents. Who they're going to take. And now just score. <laughs> Gosh, what pace on the outside. 
So a bit hesitant, Scorps, in their defence there, not stepping up and making that touch. You've got to get up when you're that close to the line. Wigan looking... Still backing off, you can see them. Wigan looking as sharp as I've seen them. I mean, that's a great step and great. Oh. All right, Scorps have got it again. Here we go. We're approaching 10 minutes here. Wigan good for their two-score lead. Plenty of danger in this Scorpions attack, and they're going to go in again. Good hands on the outside. Winger came in. Looked like quite an easy try there. Everyone condensed a bit too much. Got sucked in here. That's the link. Oh, no, that's the middle, but the link gets sucked in there. Coming up too hard. Nicholas Matenga. Let's go, let's go, boys! Not even diving there. I thought the defender coming over could have got the touch. But no need in the end. No need. Conserve that energy. Don't graze your elbows and knees because it's pretty firm out there. Oh, it's pretty dry. Yeah, it's hard if you go down. Five four. One point ball game again. But here come Wigan. I know they're only one ahead, but they just look a little bit sharper. It's oh, they've magicked up some energy from somewhere. They do like, look like they've got more energy. They're stepping and really going the outsides hard. And we had George on CoComs a little bit earlier. He mentioned the fact they're a young team, they're a fit team, and they try and run teams over in the second half. So if they can go in at half time, one ahead or level, then they'll really consider themselves in a good position. But Scorpions, oh, yeah. very well conditioned themselves. Oh, they are a great side, Scorps. And such experienced players. But if you can go into half time one up, it makes such a difference. You're going so confident. And in terms of this men's NTS competition, two different finalists to those that we had in Oxford, where it was Hot Custard versus Galaxy International. So that's good for the competition. Oh, definitely. Spice it up a bit. Any of the top teams can win it at any given time. That's it. And we still have the Elite Women's Cup to come as well. Hot Custard taking on Scorpions. That's due to begin. Oh, that's going to be a great game between those two. I think they're quite short of players, so it is going to be really grit their teeth and go hard and see what they can give for the 40 minutes. Well, nice and easy for you. You can watch it with your feet up, knowing that you've already got the silverware in the trophy cabinet as we've got to dive for the line. Oh, a touch oh, has been just. made. And it needed to be accurate as well. That was a great dive though, so low. Let's see if Scorps can do it though, they're still one down. Gonna go for it again. Oh, well, nice idea going out to the winger, I was free, but just couldn't quite get the pass away. I think he, uh, 12 minutes gone. All right, let's see if Scorps can keep him here whether Wigan's legs will take them forward. Ah, oh, turnover. Oh, Wigan. Fumbled. Fumbled under the pressure, maybe. Wigan appealing for the penalty. However, the referee seeing it through a very different pair of eyes. Fresh set of six from the penalty and a huge chance for Scorpions to equalise. Make it five apiece. They've gone for the line early. Close again. Good conditioning, though. Getting him to go nice and tight. Might see a long ball after this if they go again. There's the dive for the line and another touch again. Wigan hanging on by the skin of their teeth. But Scorps asking questions. Tom Tripp at 15. Perennial thorn in the side of any opposition. There we go, finding the holes. But the link got there. Good touch from Wigan there. By the looks of things, Scorps have lost count of the touches as well. This one might be turned over. Now the ref's saying it's six. Have to play the ref. Six it is. Well, well defended from Wigan because Tripp went for those low Superman dives a few times there. He looked so close to getting those, actually. The boys did well to hold out that, that attack. Well, Wigan back into the Scorps half. There's Jordan Melling pointing them where he wants to yeah. go and again, again the losing pressure. control just some real simple mistakes there from Wigan just see if Scorps can capitalise on those to keep the ball safe, oh gosh he's through oh if only he was a, a little bit younger and a little bit faster if only 
He'll love me saying that. Oh, I mean, the good news is it's recorded and it's going to be on YouTube oh, forever. He'll love it. He'll come back and watch this. Oh, what a ball. Oh, great chase by the winger. Certainly was. It's Tuio, no, he opened the scoring. Usually stays wide. He had a bit of ground to cover there. Made an important. Yeah, he got there this time. He's missed a few, so it's great that he's able to chase that one down. Still Wigan 5, Scorpions 4 after a frantic start. This one settled down. Both teams are just exchanging Good scores. Yards, oh, they've three. done it again. You're going to give the roll ball for three, looks like. No, oh, no. penalty. Too hard a to touch. Oh, Wigan will look okay. to make this one stick. Go nice and slow, seeing what they're presented with. Very high up for that middle. Ooh, oh, six that again. Comes out as well. This is dangerous, giving Wigan six again on the line. Those little snappy youngsters. Oh, a floated pass. Not quite the ball you want, I don't think. From Melling this time, he holds hesitation. his head because he knows what he's done there. Yeah. Let off the Scorpions. He'll deed out hard though now. He'll want to keep them here. Three. Good defence by Wigan, getting nice and high on this occasion. This is coming. See what they do. Oh, that's a ball to the face. That's not so nice. One to the face. That's a rarity at this level. But they got the pen anyway, so that's all right. Let's see what they can do. They're going to be dangerous on the line. Look at this. Oh, oh. nice. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. We've all been there. I've got my fair share of balls to the face. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help it. That is the voice of Sue Ellen Goody, Cambridge's finest. A plate yeah. champion today. Let's see what they've got. Oh, that's a oh, lovely ball. He's drilled it and scored. That was a great pass. That is an absolutely glorious ball off the right hand. Winger still had some work to do. Thought the opportunity had gone as well. Yeah, let's have a look at it again. Nice and quick with the quickie and then straight through. What Duke a beautiful no. pass. Almost didn't take it, but got hands on it. And taking Celesi Tuiono out of the game. He was defending narrow. And Wigan, having blown that repeat set of six just a few moments ago, now find themselves locked in this men's final. From a neutral perspective, though, that's everything you want, isn't it? Five all, 17 oh, minutes gone. Anyone's game. Oh, he's got through. Oh, you're joking. How has he skipped through gap. there? Just those fast legs. Timed that hitch kick to perfection. Let's take a look at this because there was certainly the attempt at the touch from Scorps and up he goes. Just guessed it. He just missed him on the dive. Sam Pryor puts Wigan Warriors back into the ascendancy. Perfect response from the team in white. 6-5. Only two minutes to go in this half. So see if Scorps can get back. Make it evens again. Well, good oh, response maybe. from Scorps inside and down. Touch is made. Oh, it was tight. Nice though, nice dive, nice attempt. Have it's they got any touches left though? His trip. Looks like they've got something. Oh, that's good D from Wigan, getting right up there, shutting that down. Wigan crowding them out, 90 seconds to go. Can they hold him is the question. Oh, certainly going to be stretched. Here goes Trip. Oh, oh, popping that one off. A little bit too spice. Didn't quite make it where he wanted it to go. Oh, he's picked that one off. Oh, I thought. Oh, oh, oh. I Just thought over that was a minute to go. A moment of majesty. Well, it's not resulted in a touchdown, but it has resulted in a turnover. Dom Tripp coming up with the big plays at the big times, but they ignore him this time. Go around the outside. It's two oh, on one no, and it's dropped. It. Oh. Matenga 
with the line that is Mercy. The pass was a touch behind him, but he had so much time. Oh, gutted. Look, gets around the link, beautiful step, offloads, and it would have been an easy touchdown. Well, it wasn't the best of passes, but Matenga no. had so much time. Just need to be a little bit deeper on that one, then the pass wouldn't have been an issue, but that's all right. They need to deed out, come back strong, 30 seconds to go. Listen out for that siren. As soon as it rings, it's the final touch of the half. Wigan, 6-5 to the good. We talk about tiny little oh, moments that change up. things. Imagine if Wigan could score here for a two-point yeah. gap. Oh, it's just short of the winger. Scorpions escape. That would have been a real gut punch for Scorps, wouldn't oh, it? Wouldn't it? To go two down at the half is really Seven. tough going. There is the siren. And that takes us to half time. Wigan have their noses in front. They lead Scorps 6-5. When I was playing the sport, I wasn't playing it to this sort of level. Um, so it's massively opened my eyes. I knew it was good. I, I just wasn't aware of how good we did things. The first things that struck me is just the organisation. To get 240 people from all over the country into one place with a coordinated programme of everything that's taking place as a set of volunteers is outstanding. And then you look at the quality of the s and and medics we've got there, you know, they're as good as anything I've worked with. You look at the preparation, the athletes put in, the time they commit. They, they've really worked hard on the testing this morning. They're now putting themselves through the paces, playing and putting a few of the strategies into practice and it's been really good to see. Do you look at Australia and think that is the pinnacle? We, we have the ability here that in a few years' time we can match them? Yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, I've, I've no question on that. I think there's bits of what we need to do. We need to grow the sport. The, the bigger and better we grow the sport, the, the better your performance system can be. So the better quality of athlete you put into a system, the better quality of athlete you put out. So you need to work on getting that athlete quality high, work on increasing the, the capacity and the sort of abilities within your system to develop and then you start to you know start to have some real successes the, the thing that's unique about it um, and I use this analogy with Greg quite a lot you could actually husband wife two children come to the same event and all play and to my knowledge there isn't another sport we could do that so we have an ability to attract people in and play once we've attracted people in to play we can then look at putting them on pathways and getting them pathways to, to be our elite players with sort of the right skill sets to compete internationally. In terms of the upcoming Euros, uh, do you think that uh, another gold medal is um, not just realistic, but is it what you're expecting? 100% yes. You know, there's no, no two ways about that. I've had sort of been fortunate enough to tour internationally a lot um, in rugby league as a player. It's the cultural sort of understandings you get and seeing how different people do different things. And you speak in rugby union about the way the French play rugby union. They play slightly differently. They've they've a lot of flair. Uh, and you know to to see that in a touch environment and see you know teams just play differently. Uh, it gives us something different to compete against. But you're right. It allows us to look at ideas, sit down with the coach and staff, and think, could that work? For for us do we have players that are able to do that do we want to be able to do that you know where do we want to steer our ship and you know what do we want to get out of this
Welcome back. This one set up beautifully. It's on a knife edge. Scorpions trailing by one, but they're going to have the first attack of the second half. They had a superb opportunity to equalise. It was fumbled and Wigan very nearly went at the other end to score. But from a neutral perspective, 6-5 sets things up beautifully. Joining us for the final 20 minutes of the men's competition this weekend, Mal Day, welcome. Thank you. I've arrived to the commentary box double parked with two frothies for the men's second half, so it should be a good one. In the old days, it was double parked, see it off, but I won't ask you to do that. It's far too warm. I, I can, I can if you want me to. What sure. I like most about this is the fact that the studio is indoors, but you've kept your sunglasses on. Um, true. I saw the Wigan boys, um, some of the Wigan boys, especially those from Crew, warming up with their sunnies on. So I've um, I done as they do. And look at the scorps. Look. Here we go. Trip. Oh. Almost straight off the tap off. Unfortunately, it looks like we've got an injury on the Wigan team. I thought you were going to say I saw a few of the Wigan boys warming up with their shirts off. I put my sunglasses on because of how pale they were. But nonetheless... Well, Dom Tripp has gone barreling over the top of a Wigan player there. Yeah, it looks like a holder there. D from that Wigan player there. Hopefully he's all right. So, fingers crossed. We've got a great medical team here at every single mm. tournament, um, led by the amazing Carrie Thorpe. So, it looks like she's out there at the moment and... They'll definitely look after him, but... And um, I think no matter how fit, how conditioned you are, because all of these guys are, you play six or seven matches back-to-back -back in these conditions, you know, you're hanging by a thread, aren't you? So the tiniest little movement can make a difference. Absolutely. You can see Carrie with the player there, so she'll make sure that they're all right. And um, I let through a touchdown today through not diving and... That's probably <laughs> why I did. <laughs> I'm not a very good diver myself. But here we go. Scorps got some great yards. And I think that was only their first touch. So second touch from the Scorps here. And now on the attack. Oh, lovely oh. pass. Lovely finish. Sarah Cold feeds Brooks. And we're all square. What an amazing start to the second half. So the game's all tied up now. Richard Eccles with the dump there. I caught the train up with um, Rich Eccles on Saturday morning. And... Had a bit of an added to him. He said he was, that they were feeling confident for today. Must have been half the players here on that train. It, it, it was fairly busy. Um, I, I had a chat to a few players. Obviously only um, to a referee with some knowledge about all the teams, not for any um, subversive purposes. Obviously. All. Okay, and here go Wigan now. Well, it's their first chance to get their hands on the ball. In this second half, George with the dunk. Jordan Melling, oh, and back inside. Good work in defence there. Eccles making the touch, turning that one over. I think we've got a touch pass there, so Scorps back on the attack. What a game for the men's open final, hey? Every time I'm in the commentary box, it's like they put on a cracker for me. Absolutely. It's like they know I'm here. They're, they're putting on a show, especially for me. Well, in Oxford, it was the women's <laughs> final. I do the same for women as the men, obviously. <laughs> and here goes Hot Max De Curno. I'm guessing about the um, pronunciation of his second name, but Hot Max is he's known around the touch circuit. Um, people think it's because he's a very attractive man, but really it's because his blood is actually um, at a temperature of 41.6 degrees instead of... Um, yeah, 37.5. 37 okay, yeah, yep, great. So, Hot Max, the number 99 for Scorps. He must be absolutely melting today, then. Goodness me. Exactly. Oh, here he goes, feeding the winger on the outside. And have Scorps taken the lead? Yes, they have. Oh, and Nick Matenga, he's the import fans this week. He's living in the Netherlands at the moment. We saw a small fumble from him in the first half, but he's definitely made up for it here you say a small fumble he butchered an open line to level the match i was trying not to be too brutal but he has made up for it there he's timed his run to perfection absolutely nick Mitenga, the far side wing a former galaxy player still plays for galaxy a fair bit normally brings our tent hence the nickname good oh here we go wigan 
Straight back into it. Touch has been made though. Sam Pryor gone over and leveled things, certainly committed to that dive. Oh, and here they go, working the outsides. Hot Max with the touch there. Is that back to one? I, I, th I think that was a touch there. Yep, referees have it in hand. Let's have a little look at this. Referees have made the call. I think this think was his a pass argument to would be. And he's passed the ball over. I too. Knocked it forward, to be honest. So um, I think a turnover is a pretty fair I've call. I've seen those given. Situation. You're not a referee, you're a co commentator. Five <laughs> minutes gone <laughs> of the second half. <laughs> Definitely not a referee this weekend. <laughs> well, not a full time committed referee. Oh, and here they go, long fair. ball out. Oh. Referees, to be fair, have done a magnificent job in these conditions this weekend. There have been some long, hard games, and the full time referees that we see on this game have done an incredible job. And we've had a lot of player refs on the field as well, and mm. you've really got to give it to the player refs who are doing a lot of time and out there, and I think they've refereed superbly this weekend. I've mentioned it a few times, but we have had player ref co commentators. They've been absolutely relentless. Yeah, absolutely. Touches a game about contributing and giving back, so it's fantabulous. I was going to say fantabulous to see, but I think we're going to just about to put on a fantabulous attack for us right now. It's Josh Ingram there. Not sure the original pass was meant for him, but he latched onto it and opened up a gap. There's Melling. Working with his former mixed open teammate Melling. Josh going for the... Oh, Ooh, well, it's tipped around connected. the post as opposed to gathered and scored. I think the pass might have drifted forward anyway. We can see the photographer there on the dead ball line, probably upset that he didn't get his scoring shot, but great ball from Josh here. With those shots, I'm not sure who'd be more disappointed they didn't get it. Chris, the photographer, or the winger <laughs> who's dropped it. <laughs> At 7-6 down, I think it might be um, yeah, Wigan. Maybe. Maybe. Here we have Justin Conway with the ball, 57-year-old Justin Conway, with the oldest player in touch at the moment. Absolutely superb play from him today. That's a nice take. All right. Sarah Cold. Oh. Work it out. There's a two-on-one here. Oh, that is a very, very important diving touch from George Price. What a touch. George putting his body on the line. He's just seen his teammate go down with a shoulder injury, but doesn't stop him making this incredible touch. Again, so often we talk about impressive dives to score touchdowns, but the dives to save them are also pretty impressive too. There is George Price going straight through Sarah Cold. And they've got the penalty here, Wigan. They've got their key attacking player, Jordan Melling. Coming out, Jordan asked if I was commentating this game and I gave him a wink. He knows he always gets a few shout outs from his number one fan. You gave him a wink and then told him that yes, you were co-commentating. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Josh Ingram. <laughs> uh, Scorpions have the ball here. Wigan looked really, really sharp in the first half and they looked like they could really take a foothold in this game and disappear out of sight. Now. I don't know whether you've brought the London luck here since coming into the co-commentary position, but Scorpions look a different side in this second stanza. Two hands, winger, come on. Yeah, un unfortunately they've put the ball down there. Some very strong yards. I think that was their first touch as well. And I think we're seeing Jordan Melling pull a triple shift in the middle of the field here. He wants to get involved in this line attack and he can blame them because he scored about 106% of the <laughs> Wigan Warriors touchdowns this weekend. Oh, there's oh, that great ball. again, a little bit too flat. Great defence. Back to Melling. Moon walks into position. You can hear the Scorps box from the commentary box out telling their players to get up, making these touches. There are some tired voices out there, some squeaky ones too. Oh, the dive inside. The referee likes it. So do the fans at home. <laughs> Celesi Tuiono in off his wing. Oh, this is magic. This is incredible. Look at this bullet. It's an absolute bullet. Celesi, quick step, left the link flat footed and gone in for the diving touchdown. All square in the men's final. 
Still Scorpions versus Hot Custard in the women's to come. Remember, if this does finish all square, drop off. Oh, imagine a drop off in a final in this heat. Goodness me. I know, it gets me all hot and bothered when I think about drop off, say. Eh? I love a good drop off. The crowd loves a drop off as well. Everyone does. Everyone does. We love the drama. Uh, that one's gone forward. Mistake from Scorps. We're going to want to go quickly. They want to get out of their half. You know what? Some great speed on the turnover balls from both teams. Getting over that roll ball really fast. Defence already on the back foot. That's and here we are, touch two. Touches, yeah. Third touch. Wigan with a few opportunities to strike. Oh, we just turned the air conditioning on in the studio and it's made a remarkable difference. The only thing is, all the paperwork could go blowing. Anyway, Wigan approaching the last 10 minutes. Oh. Over the line, need to find the pass. That is. Oh. Well, I thought we had the touch there from oh. Scorps. Oh, I think it's ball down there. Oh, he scored. Yep. He has scored Jake Threadgold. What a beard. I was going to say, one of the finest beards in touch. Ghosted his way in. Look at that. I thought the touch had come in there from Scorpions. No, oh. says the ref. Clever play. He was on the way down before he received the ball. I think he got a bit of a bump for his troubles. However, his Wigan side got two unanswered scores and they're 8-7 to the good. Incredible. Got that ball down by a whisker, which seeing as he's sporting a full beard probably helped. And we've seen... What a response. Your friend Handsome Max has strolled in. Hot Max, you know what? His girlfriend's in the... Um, oh, sorry, I meant to say hot, not handsome. I got carried away. Hot Max, his girlfriend's in the women's team, which is an absolute sterling player. And um, Yeah, he scored there. It looks like Jordan Melling was possibly sent off for a four sub, possibly for some chat. And... Scorps have taken advantage of the six on five attacking numbers and nailed that touchdown. Eight all. Still, still drop off zone. Wigan eight. Scorpions eight. The drop and off zone. Love that. I, I'm really hoping we're on the highway to the drop off zone. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. Do you know? Right. You you stopped believing in that. You really committed to it, and then you just got a load quieter. I, I, I saw I saw my I saw my co commentator. No, me I loved it. I, do you know what? I, <laughs> I won't bore the people watching at home, but I listened to the. Oh, here we go. Oh, bit of a hard touch there. We'll is that a hard touch? Says. The football World Cup is on, so I have seen a few more dives this weekend that we're normally seeing a touch competition. There was one in, there was one in state of origin earlier. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, I listened to the entire Top Gun soundtrack yesterday on my road trip. It's amazing. It stood the test of time. Yep. And I am totally with you in uh, in, in the drop-off zone. Yep. In fact, I think we should record that. That can be our Christmas charity duet. Kenny Loggins. What, what a star. What a star. Um, underrated musical genius. Yeah. Oh, speaking of underrated genius. Max goes in again. Scorpions back into the lead. This one ebbing and flowing beautifully. And it's going to be an all-time NTS classic. You can see the mid making the touch here. He's pulled a very hard corner. He's trying to come back for the shot, but he's pulled a super hard corner. And that's where the gap's opened up. Hot Max number 99, three for the touchdown. One on the wing, one through the middle. He is making an impression on this final. Scorpions, one down at half time, find themselves one up here. Oh, and we've got an intercept here. We've got a breakaway. Scorpions are going to lead by two. It's a clean pair of heels. Teddy Brooks, the gas man, makes it Scorpions 10, Wigan 8. We can see the Galaxy crew, Team 10 on the dead ball line there. A few Galaxy players down there, but. Watch this. He was smiling from the halfway mark. Yeah, he knew. He knew. Credit to Wigan. They gave chase. But there was only going to be one winner of that sprint. And if it stays like this, there's only going to be one winner of the Men's Cup. It's going back to London. If there's one team I wouldn't ride off with six minutes on the clock to go, it's Wigan. They're so passionate about their touch and such a fit team that... I'm really, I know I should probably not be biased, but I'm hoping they get one back here. Die high, die high. 
Well, I can be biased as a commentator, hey. I was listening to the commentators on the England World Cup game. As long they, as you, they were pretty biased, so... As long as you believe in what you say, you can say whatever you like. Yeah, absolutely. But Scorps defence way up. Attacking player. Oh, there's the big pass. Misses the winger and another chance gone for Wigan. That's right. Scorpions have their specialist winger, Justin Conway, out there. So he had that covered Yeah. well and truly. With a bit of a speculator, this, to be honest. Bit of a Hail Mary. With regards to being biased, I think as long as you're honest, and you're honest, right, Mel? Absolutely. <laughs> and you could say Ask what me anything like. and I'll tell you what I think. Oh, she's like just, a be, just be careful about your questions. She's like AQA. <laughs> Approaching the final five minutes, Scorpions. All of a sudden... Oh, just Richard Eccles, great drive down the middle. Got some energy from somewhere. Will Sarah Cold passing off to Dom Trip. Dom Trip going from half. Oh, too easy. Too easy for Scorpions. And now it's a mountain to climb for Wigan. Oh, this is a bit of a heartbreak in this one. Richard Eccles going in for the strike dump. Dom Tripp, apparently when he messes up, they call him Tom Drip. But he was definitely Dom Tripp on that little play there. Great pass. Thanks, Ben Meekin, for that little shout-out to Tom Tripp. I love all the stuff that we get from the co-commentators. This is brilliant. If you're watching at home by chance and you like what you see here, oh, I th <sighs> thought it was going to get picked off again. And you like what you see and you're thinking about getting involved in touch, then all I'd say is do it. It's a brilliant community. It's a great sport. And once again, oh. we're coming towards the end of a fabulous weekend as Jordan Allen can't quite make it stick this time. Now, the fumble from the Scorpions winger means they've got six touches again, so they've still got a few touches up their sleeve as we see the hot custard women's forming up in the background for the Women's Open Final. Good to see that they've put the Women's Open Final last, as that yep. seems to be the grandstand game at these tournaments. Great to see the women's game at such an elite level. Well, that one you were involved with in Oxford was an all-time classic. Oh, through the oh. middle and touchdown. George Price hits the line. Jordan Melling feeds him. And Wigan Warriors hungry to get back into this final. Look at that. We talk about hitting holes a lot in touch, and sometimes we talk about it on players on the field. And look at that short ball hitting that hole perfectly. That's what a, thing, a score. Thing, isn't it? We talk about Jordan Melling and those powerful passes, 30, 40 metres, but sometimes it's that well-timed two-metre shove that can make the difference. Three minutes to go. Sometimes those holes these players punch, you just don't think that they're gonna there's any space there and Oh Trip seals it. Tom Trip. You've, you've got me into it now. Dom Trip. Tom Trip. Tom Trip seals it for Scorpions. Surely now even a team with the quality of Wigan can't make up a three score deficit in two and a half minutes. You can Splits see Celeste, the, the zero. He was wrong footed, he knew it straight away and Dom Tripp, widely seen as possibly the best player in England touch. Definitely taking advantage of it. But we can all want to finish this on a high. Well, there's a good start. And they've got the score there. A little fancy footwork. Sam Pryor's had a couple of those. He just times those hitch kicks incredibly well. The touches come in. Gets the pop off, Melling. Boop, up you go. What a score. Dom Trip. Dom Trip. Yep, Tom Trip there, unfortunately, not with the with the score. Two and a half minutes. If um, the Scorps can play out this set of six safely, I think we can pretty much say that the game's theirs. Richard Eccles driving it up the field. That's been a brilliant game though, hasn't it? Oh, oh it's oh. been picked off! Oh. Here we go! It's grandstand oh, finish time! We got Will Seracold on the on the race up. Oh He's not quite quick enough and look at this. And we've got a game. They're Wigan rushing back to halfway. Turning on the afterburners, they're just one down. They've exchanged interception touchdowns. We said Wigan were dead and buried at three scores down with three minutes remaining. It's now just one score with one minute remaining.
Oh. It is an all-time classic in the NTS. But surely, surely Scorpions can run the clock down. One minute to go. We're going to gonna have another possession. So we're going to see what they can do with that. Oh, please, please a drop off. It's not often that you see scores of 12-11. It's been a high scoring game with both teams. Here the Scorps go trying to finish Wigan off. And this could do it. No, they've dumped it out of play. Give themselves time to set the defence. The clock will stay ticking. Wigan need to go. They'll want a quick roll ball here. 20 seconds to go. Last possession. And unfortunately, um, the ball was down, so it was a roll ball, and he's going to tap the ball. So. Oh, referee. Oh, I, I know there were rules and stuff. And we've got um, Justin Conway, the number 10. It looks like there was a bit of tap back. So oh, what? He's been sent for time, so... Oh, it's, it's Fiji touch the time. It's the last play. It's got to go from Wigan. They're throwing the ball away. They're trying to get through there. Oh, there's the touch. Oh. There is the touch. Drama right up until the end. Can you believe that? We had a tap on a roll <laughs> ball. The decision turned over for chat. And then the siren goes. A fitting end to <laughs> one of the finest games, well, certainly we've had this weekend. Maybe one of the finest games in England Touch Men's National Touch Series history. We're going to have a look at some of the highlights here. And plenty of highlights with oh. what, tw 23 scores 23 on the board. 23 scores. <laughs> and what a rivalry between these two this weekend. The first time they met, Wigan won by two. Then they drew six all in the 20-minute match. And then 12-11 to Scorpions. Mel Day. If they were all like this that you co-commentated on, you could take my job and we'd leave you to it because that was absolutely stunning. You know I'd never do it without you. Such is life. Um, <laughs> but this match here, two oh. brilliant teams and they've delivered as well. How can, you, how can you not watch a final like that and fall in love with a game like this? Yeah, absolutely incredible. Um, Scorpions, what a game. Dom Tripp, Will Sarah Cold, Hot Max. They've got a lot of key strike players. Um, but then you've got Wigan, and they play with so much heart, the boys up north, and so much passion, and they definitely brought it today. And they're wearing the kit that they first wore for their inaugural men's open win um, a few years ago. So they almost emulated that win today, but unlucky. It it's a nice kit as well, there. isn't it? Oh, the, the shorts are um, uh, quite firm, a firm fit which I, is appreciated by many, a bit, many, uh, many a spectator. They're a bit myself. 90s rugby league, the shorts are, aren't they? Um, Quite good. Silky, silky and small. Let's talk about the character shown by Scorpions, though. They went in behind at half-time. They really had to dig in in that first half when Wigan were just cutting them to ribbons. That second half performance on uh, from them was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And their elite players definitely made a difference. I think Dom Tripp, a.k.a. Tom Tripp, he was all over the park. Um, incredible in defence, apart from the highlight that we're just seeing at the moment. But to be fair, though, <laughs> even that was a huge commitment, a full dive just to try and prevent that touchdown. Oh, and here was the moment to set up the grandstand finish. Fancy throwing a pass like that when you're defending a two-score lead. Absolutely incredible. Look at Sarah Cold, though, breaking himself to try and prevent that. There aren't many scores, there aren't many sports, should I say, where you'll see chases like that. Still one match to come. Scorpions versus Hot Custard. Scorpions going for the double now. I know. I know they were uh, Galaxy, but denied the double last week. Can Scorpions get it this week? Before that, Chris is pitch side with a champion. Uh, joined by Dom Tripp, pitch side. Uh, Dom, very tired man, very happy man. Oh yeah, um, good to get a win. Obviously, the last comp we uh, we got rolled by a very strong uh, custard side, so it was nice to come back and uh, bounce back in this one. And we had a head of a head of a game. Like all credit to the Wigan boys, they were awesome. And we played them three times this weekend. Uh, they've actually beaten us twice, and it's just that last one that we we managed to get over the line. So credit to them for awesome awesome run. So the one that mattered. 
Yeah, um, I guess that's how it works out. Um, just a really, really tough competition all round, and we definitely emptied the playbook. Uh, had to go all the way down, sort of the list, and I'm sure they did as well. So it was just, it was just nice to run against them three times because they're just quality players, and that's who you want to be playing against. Talk about emptying the playbook, but almost the crucial score is in the second half as an interception. It was, yeah. Uh, I threw it. It was a uh, great length. I thought, uh, I thought that's one assist for me. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but good, he's fast as well. I mean, he, he outran us and he got great positions, so yeah. I meant, I meant the one that you guys scored. Oh, oh, we got one. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, Teddy Brooks, oh, awesome player, one to watch for the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that one. As far as the weekend as a whole is concerned, um, obviously, the hotter it gets, the harder it gets. Would you agree with that? Yeah, to an extent. Obviously, we got a little bit unlucky with the uh, weather earlier on in the year, so it's, it's nice to get out and get used to it because obviously, thinking long term and we're going to have to go to Malaysia. I mean, there's possibilities of us going back to stake up again, so it's going to be hotter than this. So it's just nice to run around in the heat, really, and get a get a feel for it. And in terms of, of as a preparation for the European Touch Championships in three weeks' time, I mean, you, you've got a, a number of, uh, of international players in your setup. You've also played against a number of them as well. So in terms of the form, looking good? Yeah, yeah, looking good. Uh, obviously, we had a couple of key injuries, um, but as a squad, looking looking strong. And like uh, some of the key guys from our team at Wigan, uh, will, you know, will be will be featuring at the Euro. So. It's nice to play with and against them, uh, just to see where we're at, and I think we're firing pretty well. So, yeah, looking forward to the next few weeks and uh, getting to Nottingham. And then just finally, uh, your girls' team's about to play Hot Custard in the final. In a word, who's going to win? Scorpions. <laughs> in a word. <laughs> in a word. No, no, yeah, well, no they'll be able, they've had a tough day. They've only got eight uh, with dropouts and injuries and whatnot, so they've got a hell of a grind against them. Um, but, yeah, all in for the last 40, I guess. All the pre-workouts needed. Dom, congratulations. Uh, we'll let you go grab a, a, a soft drink and maybe even a slightly harder drink, and we'll give you a trophy later on. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. Cheers. Mate.